to say that it's been, what, two months since my last video? Uh, well, I just got out of school, so I had to do, like, a bunch of finals and, like, schoolwork, and there's a lot of, a lot of drama about, just drama in general, so that's why I haven't been, like, consistent. I tried being somewhat consistent, and then I couldn't because I didn't have any video ideas, and this was, like, hard to do. Well, it wasn't hard to do. It was just wasn't, like interesting enough to consistently keep doing it but if you had you you've seen the, the the title um but if you watch lavender town this person that i follow like and watch consistently a lot you'll know that she's done three technically four videos but three playthroughs of bitlife and for these playthroughs she draws out their life. And first one was Isabella Walker, which was, I think that was the one that I was like, I should do that. And then she did another one. I forget her name. But, and then her recent one was an, like an evil playthrough, but like consistent evil stuff. So, here is my my version of it. Heads up, I did not finish it. I have, I'm looking at my storyboard for, like, each drawing on the floor. It's not finished. I did, what, four drawings? But, I'll probably just read out most of the story either way. And I'll just, like, do, like, a slideshow of some of the pictures I actually did. So, here we go. So my character is Thomas Collins. Thomas Collins was born in Melbourne, Australia, and he was a planned pregnancy. His birthday is January 8th, and he's a, so he's a Capricorn. His father, Ethan Collins, is a travel agent who is 46, and his mother, Sarah Collins, is a school psychologist who is 36. He also has an older sister, Matilda, who is four years older than him. It, his his happiness, his health, and his smarts are up in the 80s and 90s, while his looks are a solid 18. When he was five years old, he broke his parents' phone, but he, being a good kid, admitted to it instead of hiding it. He went to see a movie with a few boys in his neighborhood when he was six, which he enjoyed, and he started school. When, he, when Thomas was 10, he was getting bullied in school, but he's very well behaved. So he reported the bullies to the teacher, and he, he didn't get bullied anymore. He got his first kiss when he was 11. He got rejected from the school dance when he was 13, which is pretty, pretty tragic. I checked the, the sexuality tab that there is in Bit Life, as you know, and it says that he's been feeling bisexual tendencies, so he is bi. At age 15, he passes his driving test and gets his driving license, and gra he graduates at age 17 from secondary school. He applies to university with a undergraduate degree for chemistry and he is awarded a scholarship because of his high academic level. Matilda starts a new position as a probationary firefighter for the Melbourne Fire Department and when Thomas is at the the, le the school library to study up for an upcoming chemistry exam he meets a young girl named Sophia Bankstone, which he asks out, and she says yes, so they are now dating. When Thomas was 20, both Sophia and Matilda got promoted to firefighter, and, she t and he took Sophia to see a movie, which they both enjoyed. When Thomas was 21, he graduated from university with his degree. And Sophia also proposes to him, which he happily accepts. 
Thomas gets hired as a junior biotechologist for Platinum Global, and his salary is pretty pretty all right, I think. Both his sister and Sophia are promoted to fire fire equipment operators, and he has been diagnosed with migraines, which he goes to his doctor and he cures it right up for him. Thomas adopts a five-year-old boy named Chris Thompson in the same year at age 24 until it is promoted to lieutenant and they Thomas and Sophia have their wedding where they're they're wedded at a banquet hall and their honeymoon is to Newcastle Australia in 25, we learn that Sophia is pregnant and we're keeping it because there's no reason to not. Tilda has been promoted to captain and I, he got a slight raise of 2000, I believe. In the same year, Thomas's father dies due to an, being exposed to anthrax and he received a package, but Sophia births a little boy named Arlo Collins and he I drew him but I didn't finish any drawings for them which is kind of sad I fax an a Arlo the next year and Matilda gets promoted to battalion chief the next year his mother retires and someone offers him sleeping pills which he declines because he's not into that we realize that Matilda does not like us at all which is kind of funny because i've been like writing about her and then i look at our like relationship and it's like abysmal i, I wrote down s relationship with sister empty bar because there's nothing there so the next year uh chris starts high school and jay collins is born and she her original name was harriet which I did not want, so I changed it. <laughs> I tried to try to up my relationship with Matilda a bit by offering to go to the symphony with her. Or I asked her to go to the symphony with me, and she said no. Kind of, kind of, kind of rude, but all right. Age thirty-three, I've promote. I've been. Prom he has been promoted to senior biotech technologist with a higher salary. Sophia is again pregnant in well when Thomas is 34 and Chris wants to go to college, but with our salary, we cannot afford it. So I give him a thousand dollars to help aid towards his loans. And the next year and Chris moves out, and he is now cadet of the Melbourne Police Department. And Finn Collins is born. I gave Matilda $330 and she had no appreciation for me. And she did not want to have a conversation. Thomas got a raise and Thomas's daughter, Jay, has went to elementary. I started elementary. Thomas was offered vodka, but he said no because I don't want him to be an alcoholic because that could shorten his life, and he's having a pretty nice life right now. Thomas encounters a wild camel while taking a stroll down the street, and he tried petting it, but he was unsuccessful. He adopts a seven-year-old boy named Angus Richmond in the same year, and Thomas bought a car because Th Sophia was nagging at him to buy one, and he, he bought a two-year-old burgundy Hyundai Sonata. Arlo wanted to go to college but Thomas could not afford it same with his other child so he gave him a thousand bucks and Sophia argued with him because he was giving away a bunch of money even though he was earning more than he gave away which is kind of whack I, he assured her that it wouldn't happen again but it's gonna happen again with kids that want to go to college um Arlo was, or he started a new position at a, 
the as an apprentice trucker for Scarlet Energy, which broke the style of a cycle of a firefighter family. When he was forty six, he found a briefcase full of nitrous oxide, which he turned in because he's a good citizen. When he was forty seven, someone insulted Sophia, so he insulted him back and he got assaulted. He called the police, but she fled she fled before they could get her. Jay unfortunately wanted to go to college the next year, but I, but Thomas could not afford it, so he gave her three hundred thirty dollars so Sophia wouldn't nag him again. And he's trying to up his relate his relationship with Matilda, and they have a hard half bar relationship at this point. At age forty nine, Jay moves out and she enlists in the army. And I drew this really nice picture of her saluting that I wish I had drawn. I might draw it and post it on my Instagram. So you guys should follow me. Plug in right there. She has been promoted to specialist the next year. And Thomas got the flu, which he was cured of. And then Jay got it promoted again. When he was 61, he gets diagnosed with the cancer of the brain. And I kind of just admit Thomas' death at this point. He retires from his job when he's 66, and Finn adopts a girl. When he is 73, he gets diagnosed with hay fever, which he doesn't cure, because I, I don't even know why I didn't cure it. If I did, I didn't write it down. But... Then the next year, when he's 80, Sophia dies of hepatitis C, and he pays his respects at the funeral. Thomas ultimately dies at the age of 86 due to complications from old age. His net worth was over 200000 Um, He had five children, two grandchildren, and one spouse. He had high good karma, but low happiness. And what was written on his tombstone was, Thomas Collins passed away at the grand old age of 86. His services were attended by his five loving children and his granddaughter. His nephew, Nate, went surfing instead. A clever fellow, he studied chemistry in college. Thomas was hired as a biotechnologist and put, put in 45 years at Platinum Glo Global. Friends describe him as someone who would do the right thing when nobody was looking. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It surely was fun, I guess. It was fun to draw. But if I kept drawing, then the art wouldn't have been as good as it was when I was, like, motivated to do this. But I, I did like Thomas's life and, like, all the stuff that he went through and the fact that he adopted a bunch of kids. Real great dude be like thomas all right uh follow my instagram subscribe to my channel <laughs> uh leave a like comment what you liked most about thomas honestly who is your favorite kid there there is jay finn uh what's his face i don't remember the first kid um but i'll see you guys in the next video Whenever I make that one, because I have the whole summer now. Bye-bye.